been delayed up. So we want to drop down low and then take off like an airplane, leaving the tarmac. And here we'll be trying to get our leg as close as we can. So if we tackle him with our left shoulder, we want that left foot as close as it would be. Now we're going to look at chasing the tackle. And what we mean by that is that post contact, we want you to drive your legs so we don't have that bad habit of just going straight to the ground. A little extension to this is with the hip, I want to be able to use my neck like I'm using here and use it to control the tackle, push him sideways. Now we've done the stationary bit, we just want a bit of space between you and the bag so you can get used to moving forward and practicing those techniques. And I guess you're wondering why we've got our hands behind our back and the reason why we do this is so we can get more shoulder contact instead of just uh, arm tackles. Yep, now we've got our arms involved, we want to focus on getting that wrap, whether it's behind the hammies, whether it's pulling the knees together or if it's pulling the back in, with the getting in close. Uh, the leg drive and the takeoff. The progression is getting off the line here, going to the short feet, sliding the target, and then zooming into the tackle. And why we do the short feet is because it enables me to stay on my toes. So when I come against a step, I'm able to track him, see where he goes, get in close, and drive my legs. Here we're looking to move off one player onto the guy at the back uh, and practice everything that we just talked about before. So we're looking to get nice and set early so that we can get off the line. Here you can see Ross and I get in really good positions where we're nice and square to get off the line. He then gives me that confidence to have full intent in the tackle. Um, as you can see, the technique's not perfect, but I think the, the main thing is the intent and the leg drive. And then afterwards, it's what you can do to get back in the game.